This is a 2019 Jeep Compass Trailhawk. As you can see right there, trail rated. Um, it's not mine, it's a rental. But I thought I'd kind of show you around. Got my junk in there. Didn't have a whole lot of space back here, but it's usable. If it's just one person, then not too awful bad, I guess. Can't really haul a whole lot in it, but. Ooh, got my fat finger in the way. But, yeah, it's, uh, Not really what I desire, but it's a way to go. It's kind of dirty because I went through. They went through some bugs before I got the thing from them. And that's what I thought. Two point four liter four cylinder. You can tell it too. It runs like crap. I already had critters in it. Bet they're not aware of that. And that wasn't done at my house. Because I've only had it for less than 24 hours. No uh, transmission dipstick. Only thing you can do in this one is check the oil and that's it. little spider running rampant there but show you a little bit of the inside of course I got the key in my pocket so it wasn't gonna lock me out right. turn this down a little bit so you can hear me uh, there's the gauge cluster if that interests you at all Not sure what all this is. All your auto lighting for in, in the cab and the exterior. Your four wheel drives all controlled down here. Air conditioner, touch screen radio. And the radio is good in this, but being that it's a rental, somebody ran it up under something already and uh, it's got the antenna ripped off of it. Uh, I got very dim lights up here. This is mine. I'd have them swapped out with LEDs in a heartbeat. Microphones on the uh, the ceiling in three different places for your uh, cell phone. Your hands free. Of course, it is badged seats don't have that in the back but they do have the the red piping as the as well as the doors and things like that um park and brake traction control i'm not 100 percent sure of what this is maybe some of y'all can help me out with that one Traction control and the parking brake I got, no problem. All right, and you do have the USB direct connect to your stereo, the aux cord. It also does have a 12 volt outlet, but as it shows, the key does have to be on for that to work. Well, fairly decent glove box. And this is another of those that the airbag is built into the dash in a manner that if it explodes, you got to replace the whole stinking dash. I don't know why Dodge does that. 
Now the one in here, of course, no big deal. Um, there are headlights on on this stock, and turn signals. Power beams, wiper controls for front and rear. And that's pretty much it. Now, let's take this gutless wonder out and ride you back through town to my house. Being that this is a four cylinder, oh, it does have the option to turn your screen off if it's interfering with your vision at night. There's your mute and the uh, four ways. As you see, backup camera, standard. Um, I kind of like the red accents in here with the black interior. But this gaudy orange paint job, oh my god. They brought it out to me yesterday and said, there's your ride. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I got to go slow here, so you're not going to see get to see or get a feel of uh, any of the pickup of this thing right now because it's going I gotta stay at 30 miles an hour or close to it so that those fellas don't come after me once I get towards the outskirts of town up here that changes like here in about 300 feet. Yeah, see, they got somebody else already for their junk trailer. <laughs> Sucks to be them, I guess. And right here is where the speed picks up. I got up to 45 just that quick. Once you're rolling, it's not a problem but to go from a dead stop to 45 or anything faster this thing is gutless now this may do good on the trail if you're just driving trails but if you get in any mud at all you better have a winch or at the very least to come along in a, a pull rope because otherwise you're going to be in a world of hurt When I say it's gutless, I don't come off with that very easily because there's different levels of gutless and this this is about as gutless as they come. Oh, another thing. When you're driving down the road and it just started doing it, so I, that's what reminded me. As you're driving down the road, it'll it does one of these little deals where it's hunting for a, a place on the road. So yeah, kind of, kind of interesting. Now we'll get a chance to go from dead stop to, well, I guess we won't dog on it. Light was red. I figured we'd get a chance to go from a dead stop to full on 45 miles an hour. <coughs> But, light turned just as we got to it, so. It's not a very rough ride, which I find kind of uh, pleasing. I gotta turn this up. Holy cow. Um, it's not a, a super rough ride, but it is, uh, it's no Cadillac either. I kind of like just kind of drifts over these things. So is my Dodge. This thing, you still feel it. But as you're riding down the road, for some strange reason, it'll kind of pull that way a little bit and then pull this way a little bit and then pull back that way a little bit. As you're driving, you got to constantly compensate for that. Otherwise, you're off in the other lane or heading for the side of the road for the ditch or something. Now, as I said, this is a 2019. So it's not a brand new one. It does have 30,839 uh, 30, miles on it.
and I'm gonna go up here and get me some drinks so this will be kind of interesting I gotta make this turn I mean as you can tell it's it's nice and quiet in here it's actually got and, and I find this really weird but it's actually got just a hint of an echo it's like the way the the, the cab is designed in this thing it's uh, the sound reverberating right back at you alright now nice little link in there I floored it as soon as I turned the corner yeah weak Super, super weak. But anyway, I just figured I'd share this one with you. It's kind of an interesting vehicle, so thought maybe you guys might enjoy the the walk around and the, the ride in it. Everything's kind of compact. I think I would have regular would have rather them uh, rented me a uh, full size uh, SUV or something like that, but or even a different car because this thing is just as gutless, honestly, as gutless as it can possibly be. Now the cool thing about this one, I got it through Enterprise. And it does actually have XM radio working on it. I don't know if that's something new that they're doing or if this is still a new enough vehicle that uh, it's in the free trial for that. But that was one of the things I found kind of interesting about it. Um, about the only thing, honestly. Because everything else I'm fairly disappointed. Of, uh, mostly just because it's only like a four-cylinder. And... Uh, but it is push to start. I did like that fact. This is the first vehicle I've ever sat in even that has push to start. So. There you get to see all the, the title tail lights as it powers up. And shut her off. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and store and get me some drinks and head to the house. Um, but. I do thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you again in the next one.